Pearson, and welcome to Close Ups. My first guest is television's home makeover heartthrob and Atlanta native Ty Pennington. Superstar home designer Ty Pennington is surprised as anyone about his success. Ty told me growing up in Marietta, he was a hyperactive kid, but he was not diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder until his late teens. So, friends seeing you now who knew you from elementary school, middle school, and then at Sprayberry High School, you would have been voted most likely to most likely to be put in a straitjacket or no most likely to probably be held in detention uh i don't know i think i would have been most likely to uh to spontaneously implode because i had that much energy but i understand that your mother who is a psychologist what? had an inkling yeah um uh, well you know and i feel for my mom and i feel for any moms out there raising kids with adhd because it's not the kid that suffers as much as it is the parents and um so you know uh, the first time i realized there might be a problem is uh my mom was studying to be a child psychologist and uh she came to my elementary school to test the worst kid they had and uh and they're like mrs pennington you really don't want to know who that is and so i'm like hi and um so they let her like witness me in the classroom for about 30 minutes uh, without me knowing and uh you know in the process of like 20 minutes i'd stripped naked i climbed out the windows i swung from the blinds i like wore my desk i uh i uh, slapped just about everybody in the classroom on the back of the head i think i started a small fire in the back of the room uh so let's just say i was like completely out of control ty says medication changed his life focused he enrolled at the art institute of atlanta his love of carpentry paid for his education however ty set aside those skills for a while and made a lucrative career change he became a model so why did you leave modeling i know you did stuff for j crew and for macy's well, leaving modeling was really quite easy. Uh, here's why. I was actually quite horrible at it. Um, yeah, I, uh, I've never had the blue steel. You know, I've never had the magnum. Um, but, you know, that business, you're waiting on somebody else to make a decision about whether or not you work. I can't live that way. So I kind of, like, I just dropped out, uh, decided to go back into doing what I could do, which is work with my hands. And sure enough, the minute you, like, step away from it and don't care anymore, uh, just want to give that up and really uh, focus on, you know, hopefully paying your rent then uh then a phone call says oh my god you got to go on this audition it's so perfect for you it's about a carpenter you know who's kind of funny but knows what he's doing i'm like okay i guess i'm half of that so uh <laughs> next thing you know i get a job training spaces on that cable tv show ty built up his resume and a faithful female following four years later he got his own show abc's extreme makeover home edition the program is an undeniable hit which and it's hard it's like picking your favorite child but if there is one makeover that will always stick out in your mind which one is it that's the toughest question uh, because people ask me all the time it's it's a it's an incredible journey i go through you know it's an emotional journey um that uh will always affect you you know and that's one of the reasons um i i, I wrote a book about it it's, it's it's not just about the designs i do but it's uh it's how the people i'm doing it for have changed my life not you know it's they, they say that we change their lives but really some of the, the the experiences you go through it changes you as a person how in my particular job i I get to see what a struggle really is and like a bad day to most of us may be just sitting in traffic but um you know, the reality of it is there are people out there with really, really tough things and fighting things that they have no control over. Um, but they, they look at every day like it's the biggest gift they've ever been given. And I think, you know, what better job can you have where you meet people that really make you appreciate every day you're on the planet? The feel-good, make-you-want-to-cry-every-episode show also has turned Ty into a home design guru. He's created his own line of products, best-selling books, even his own magazine. Well, it does say, you know, Ty Mail, Ty Spies, Ty Check, Ty's Team, Ty's Rules, Ty Echo, Ty Talks, but there's no Ty Time. Well, that's a good question. Um... When I do come home, you know, I do get to, like, just be me, you know what I mean? And I, I actually sleep in. It's great. Uh, and and I, it'll take about a day and a half to two days, and then I'll be like, maybe I should tie-dye some T-shirts in the backyard. <laughs> and then and people, like, you know, uh, will be like, really? 
uh, why not just not do anything? Is there anything in, in Atlanta or Georgia, do you go to the varsity, things that make you know I'm home? Oh my God, I mean, there's this place, Thelma's, I'm sure you've heard of that. Uh, and I, I used to go there even when I was a fan or whatever, and it's so funny, uh, one day Thelma looked at me, she said, man, you never say anything when you come in. You're so quiet, and I've seen you on TV. You're not quiet. And uh, it was so beautiful because like, it's like, that's a must, uh, going down to Walters, get new shoes. Uh, there's something about it, man. When you're from here, you, you know it the minute you land. You know, it, it just, it feels good uh, to be home. And of course, I had to ask, wouldn't you? I had to know what Ty thought of the colors I was wearing. So you're wearing red right now, which means you're kind of a bold, expressive person. You know what I mean? And so I imagine uh, you're not afraid to like, you know, just to have any kind of bold statement when you walk into your home. It's probably, there's gotta be something big and bold when you walk in. And uh, My artwork. Well, there you go. Yeah. And so, uh, and like, and I think color really represents a lot about uh, who we are. Like orange is probably one of my favorite colors and that's, it's kind of a creative color, but, um, but it doesn't get any bolder than red. It's just awesome that you were bringing that.